Good morning guys. I just woke up like maybe 30 minutes ago. It's Sunday today and um, today I'm gonna show you what I eat in a day on a plant-based diet and in bulking mode. <laughs> so it will be fun to see I hope and um, first I'm gonna put some chapstick on. Be very, very it? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because sometimes I really like get up with dry lips and we don't want that. So um, <laughs> that's that. And now I'm going to the kitchen to make my breakfast. Oh, that's so much better. Ooh, still have a sleepy face going on, <laughs> but that's Sunday style. <laughs> so I'm going to start off the day with my go-to breakfast, with, which is oats. I actually already prepared a little bit. So I prepared 70 grams of oatmeal one tablespoon of cacao powder and some cinnamon and because I'm flying to Belgium tomorrow morning I already prepared as well in a little plastic cup the same and a tablespoon of chia because today for my breakfast I will eat this warm with warm water and a little bit of soy milk but this one I'll probably put in just milk this evening and I will eat it cold in the plane and I don't know why but when I eat cold oatmeal I do like chia but when I eat hot oatmeal I think chia is a bit strange I think I just don't like to eat chia seeds when they are warm <laughs> so but I thought I'd add, add them for my healthy fats because chia seeds actually contain a lot of healthy fats and then here I will add some peanut butter sadly this is almost finished <laughs> so it will be a very little spoon but um, yeah so I put the camera <coughs> on top of the um, closet I think that will be better <laughs> to explain you guys so what I'm going to do next is I'm just gonna stir the cacao powder and the cinnamon together and then I'm going to put warm water I already boiled this this water and I'm just gonna put enough but not not that like the whole oatmeal is covered by the uh, hot water because I'm still gonna add some soy milk I don't know why I just started liking it this way I think I saw Whitney Simmons doing it like that and then I tried it out and I really liked it like I thought it was nice because I don't like oats just with water because I think that's a bit of um I don't know not a nice taste but just adding a little bit of soy milk yeah it's nice and it's so easy with the boiled water because you don't have to like cook your oatmeal in um in a pot or something I can just like add the water and the soy milk and it will be hot and I just let it like that I let it rest for a bit and then in the meanwhile I have two this is a very big one <laughs> I have two strawberries ready to put on top of the oatmeal which I really like so this is the finished product and I actually decided to put on some it's like this chocolate zero sauce from a wider Spain so it's basically has like not a lot of calories but it adds the chocolate taste to your food my sad amount of peanut butter and then yeah the oats so I'm gonna eat that now I'm gonna do some work it's gonna be a productive Sunday because tomorrow as I said I'm going to Belgium and I still have to finish up some work and also later for the company as well for my brand Raymonda Fitness so yeah it's gonna be a productive one and I'll talk to you later like maybe in three hours or so for my first snack it's time for my snack I it's 12 o'clock 
I think it has been three hours since my breakfast. I did the work I had to do for my job, uh, my Belgian job, and now I'm gonna have just a not too big of a snack because later I want to have my lunch a bit early, like at two maybe. For me, that's <laughs> it's not that early, but I mean, in Spain sometimes lunches can be like at three even so I'm gonna try to have it at two maybe because then I can like also not have such a late dinner tonight since I have to get up early for my flight tomorrow morning what do I what am I going to eat right now I'm gonna just put some Alpro coconut yogurt uh, I think it's just soy yogurt with coconut um, flavoring I actually prefer the normal one but I don't always find that here in Spain so I yeah I went with this one just to have my soy yogurt uh, yeah on hand and I'm gonna put like 250 grams which is basically half of this package and I'm gonna put this leftover granola that I still had uh, because I like to make my own granola actually um, I'm gonna put that on there but that's not a lot that's like only 20 grams so I'm going to chop that off for the rest with some like basic cereal like uh, it's like whole grain I feel like I even have yogurt in my hair I don't know what happened <laughs> I don't know what happened <laughs> I'm just gonna put this here just to reach like, I don't know, maybe 70 grams or so. Since I'm bulking, I'm not really like that careful with carbs. I like to add them to, yeah, to just make the meals a bit more calorie dense. And it's also delicious, so I actually really enjoy being in bulking <laughs> okay so it looks like this very simple just the yogurt and i'm gonna stir this around and then i'm gonna have this and then i will see you later when i am making my lunch <laughs> bye hi guys <laughs> I just did a, a outside workout and I filmed it for my Instagram but like even though I just did one of each exercise I'm like whew, I'm like out of breath <laughs> so um, yeah and uh, yeah if you're wondering why I wear it like this <laughs> this Gymshark top it's too big for me uh, I should have got like an extra small actually but I wanted to wear it anyway but I like put it like this because otherwise it goes up the whole time I'm actually gonna make lunch now and I'll show you the result because I want to be a bit quick I still have to do some stuff for the trip tomorrow I have to yeah I have to like pack my luggage I have some to do still left so I'm gonna jump into making the lunch and I will show you the result when it's ready so guys lunch is ready I'll show you I don't know if you can see I'm gonna explain it's basmati rice broccoli and marinated tempeh which is basically like a soy product as well just like tofu and it's delicious because it's marinated I bought it like that and it's basically like a little bit of bacon smoked taste mm, which really adds like a nice flavor to the food as you can see like my meals <laughs> like this one for example is a pretty basic meal I sometimes really like to make these simple meals not too much effort just like a carb a protein and my veggies <laughs> just because yeah i don't always want to make like a fancy recipe or something that's also something i think uh, if you want to eat like more healthy it doesn't have to be always that that complicated you can also try to make these types of simple recipes with which won't cost you a lot of time i basically i think it cost me 10 minutes because the rice was already done i had like rice ready in the fridge and then i had to cook the broccoli 
and then I had to yeah warm up the tempeh in some a bit of oil very quick but like in that way it, it doesn't it does it's not really difficult to eat healthy I think yeah I just also really enjoy simple meals as well so it depends of course on your tastes as well I just don't really yeah need like a special meal every day or to, to like not get bored or something I'm pretty easy <laughs> so that's um, a benefit I think yeah basically I'm gonna eat this now and then I'm gonna uh, yeah like continue doing some stuff and then probably this evening maybe rest a little bit and I'll show you when I'm gonna make my dinner good evening guys it is around 7 20 past 7 actually and I'm gonna make my dinner I prepared myself some soup which is like um, yeah I know it's a bit bad but it's like a soup that I buy ready in the store but it's so delicious it's not even out of laziness because I can make soup I don't have a problem <laughs> but th this is so delicious it's like mm, I think it's like a potato cream with some kind of vegetable but it's really good and like so nice like just as a snack because I'm pretty hungry I think my last meal was four hours ago already so I wanted to have something to eat while I'm preparing my dinner and as dinner I'm going to like improvise I have some pasta I have some pesto I want to try out not the most healthy option but it's okay we are bulking so I can handle it <laughs> and then I'm going to cut up some veggies that I have left over and that I really want to use so I'm gonna cut up some celery some uh, carrots and some uh, one tomato that I'm gonna do like in the pan I'm gonna stir that around also gonna add some tofu and that will be like the, the mixture for the pasta and then adding the pesto so I think it will be good I'm actually having so much pasta now that I'm bulky I'm gonna maybe put my hair up a little bit I just love pasta so much <laughs> and I think it's nice because it's good because <laughs> I think it's nice because I also eat a lot of rice but then I can like have uh, pasta to mix things up and like not always have rice and broccoli because uh, like I know I said I like simple meals but yeah also not the same meal twice a day <laughs> so that is why I'm into pasta lately just because it's also so easy make a delicious pasta I feel normally I use like tomato sauce which I actually wanted to do today but then I don't have any tomato sauce left so I saw I had this red pesto sauce and I thought okay let's just do that instead and um, I think that will be nice as well I don't know if it will be good with the, with the celery with the tomato and the carrot but we'll see we're gonna try and uh, yeah we'll see how that goes I'm gonna like cut these carrots pretty small already to like make sure yeah to just make sure that it, it's, it's gonna cook week because I don't like I actually wanted to have my dinner earlier but like Carlos and I uh, ended up going to this viewpoint in Madrid which was pretty nice like Carlos uh, uh, he saw online um, by the way for the new people here on my channel Carlos is my husband <laughs> and we are living in Madrid and um, he told me that he saw online that there was like this viewpoint where you could see the city um, uh, if you have been to Madrid you might know but Madrid has like these four high buildings yeah which you can basically see from very far like I oh, yeah, that's Madrid <laughs> and 
in that viewpoint you can like see the towers and you can like see the sunset very nicely so he took me there and it, that was, which was actually pretty nice because oh god i almost cut my finger <laughs> that, that's what happens when you're doing two things at the same time I think it was like a very superficial... No, nothing happened. My God. <laughs> um, anyway, like the viewpoint and it's nice, I think, because I was so like busy doing stuff today uh, because I'm going to Belgium tomorrow and because I know like I'm not going to be able to film for YouTube I'm not, and like for my Instagram and stuff. So I just picked prepared a lot of content and um, yeah it's good I like to be productive but it was also nice to just go out and be outside and sit in the sun I brought my journal as well you know journaling a little bit I feel like the celery has become a bit like how do you say that like week <laughs> Week, a week salary. <laughs> There's a feeling that it's become like a little bit like, I don't know, but I guess the taste will be still okay. Let's hope so. But I hate to throw away food. I don't like to throw away food, so I prefer to just use it. And I also like add the carrots. The celery I'm also going to cut up in pretty small pieces just for quicker purposes. I feel pesto pasta is normally very simple, just pesto and pasta. But um, maybe that's just me. Okay, I have to wash this first because I actually wanted to throw it in immediately i was like uh let's just not wash it but i yeah i think it's better for the health as well to always like wash your vegetables i'm actually now in this moment doubting if i'm gonna edit tonight <laughs> because i'm a bit like i already did so much today so i'm a bit like it's 7 30 i want to watch something on netflix like some kind of um I like to watch these like murder documentaries, which is a bit strange maybe, but I think it's just interesting to like see those stories, like reasons why people did what they did. And there is like this, this series on Netflix called, I think it's called I Am a Murderer. And yeah, the fun thing is as well, I just one episode is only 40 minutes. so. It's also not like that, like, a, you know, a, m watching a movie is fun, but it's always immediately two hours. Yeah, I don't know, sometimes a girl got a rest, no? Like, <laughs> a girl got a rest as well and uh, chill a little bit on her Sunday. So that's my plan, what I'm now thinking in my mind. Um, but we'll see. I'll, I'll finish up dinner and I'll maybe I'll just put the videos on my laptop already to have them ready to go when I'm gonna edit. And then I am, um, yeah, I can still see. Because in the plane as well, like, I must say, I like to do something productive and, like, yeah, like editing or, or writing captions or stuff like that like it's nice to use the time on the plane carrots and celery are in there so i'm going to put some pepper and some salt already because i saw this video i think when with valentine's day i made like a vegan lasagna and i actually saw or the guy in the video was like you have to like season at every stage when you're cooking and not just like um yeah not just like once so i now try to do that uh, mm, 
the soup is so delicious like mm. so guys I also wanted to show you this little um, yeah I guess like before bed snack that I'm making which is two scoops of vegan protein powder a tablespoon of cacao powder and three tablespoons of chia seed and I will now mix this with soy milk and then I will have like this protein healthy protein pudding and that will give me like some extra calories before going to bed okay guys I'm gonna make okay guys my pasta is ready and I'm going to make this a quick one a quick goodbye because I don't want my pasta to get cold <laughs> and oh. I'm gonna show you the result it looks amazing I think oh my god it's a lot of food <laughs> I must say it looks pretty delicious like the, the pesto I didn't go too much with the pesto and now I put some like nutritional nutritional yeast on top which is like a vegan parmesan cheese and uh, well it's like vegan parmesan cheese and I'm gonna eat this now <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one bye